Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I am currently at the Mondrian Hotel in Itaewon waiting for a friend. My friend is getting married so she just wanted to treat me to lunch today. Um, she is actually one of my only Korean Korean friends. I don't have many Korean Korean friends. I probably have like less than five. I recently started making some more Kyoko friends like Korean Americans like me and most of my friends in Korea are all foreigners. I'm excited to experience a Korean traditional wedding. So that'll happen sometime at the end of this summer. Hopefully before I move to LA I can make it to her wedding. Oh, arrived in E21 again in the HBC area to meet Beans. She should already be here right now. There she is! <laughs> Hi cutie! <laughs> oh wow, this looks so good. to tell them that I'll be moving out as soon as possible uh, just due to some unfortunate circumstances I will be moving out quicker than I had expected so I'm just gonna let my realtor know that I want to take out my place and they can like find a replacement for me so uh, yeah we'll see how that goes you guys, it has literally been like a day since I put up my place back in the market and I had my first house visitations this morning and the first visitor within, I'm not even kidding, 30 seconds she said that she's gonna take this place and that she's gonna sign the contract today because she just fell in love with my room and my decorations and she liked my decorations so much that she said that she'd take some of it so thankfully I don't need to go through the hassle of having to throw it away or sell it or anything um, I will be selling some things so that I can you know, make some money off of that I will have to pay a $500 realtor fee so that just lifted off a huge weight off my shoulders because I set my move out day and I just bought my plane tickets to LA this morning. Plane tickets are so crazy expensive right now. Like a one-way flight to LA non-stop is over $2,200 and so I just chose the flight that has a really long layover in Hawaii so it's still like over a thousand to three hundred dollars i just chose that one so i'll just be enjoying hawaii for a day and i'll be heading to la on august 1st so yeah i can't believe this is happening but anyways before i get along with this vlog i want to give a quick shout out to naywai for sponsoring today's video i've collaborated with naywai last summer and ever since then their barely zero bras are the only bras i ever wear because they are so comfortable i currently have their barely zero fixed cup wavy bra on and it is so cute i love the color and you can wear it like a crop top or you can put an oversized white shirt like this on and 
I am actually wearing Neewise leggings with it as well. So I have been wearing this almost every day since I got it. This is their Barely Zero Fixed Cup Clasp Bra. So this one, there's a clasp at the back. It's so buttery smooth. I wish you guys can feel the texture through the screen. This is one that I got last year and I absolutely love the color it and it's so comfortable but this one it doesn't have a clasp in the bag one of the differences is that the padding can be taken out from these versions but in the newer ones the padding can't be taken out so it kind of makes it easier when you're doing laundry Neiwai makes shopping for bras online really easy as long as you're within the listed size range barely zero adapts to fit you there's a wide range of colors that you can check out on their website at neiwai.life you can use my discount code KC25 for 25% off your next Neiwai purchase. So make sure to click the link in the description box. I was gonna get LASIK eye surgery, but I pushed it back because I just don't have time anymore. So yeah, I'm just gonna get some more contacts. When I started filming this vlog, I had no idea that it would be my last Korea vlog. So I guess in the end, I can't go to my friend's wedding. I had a lot of travel plans until I left. I wanted to travel Jeju for two weeks, Gyeongju, Yeosu, the Philippines, but that just can't happen anymore and I'll just be moving out pretty soon. Sometimes life just doesn't go as planned and you just have to kind of deal with it. I actually have some family in Hawaii so I'm gonna talk to my cousins and see if they can hang out while I'm there. And I'm looking at some apartments in LA right now. I'll just be apartment hunting the first few days I land and I'll just be signing my contract and starting my new life. For the rest of my time here, I'll just be meeting up with some friends this week and just wrapping up everything here. I'm gonna research some more LA apartments and then wash up and then sleep. just came out. It and looks so here's good. Here's Taylor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second.
I just finished meeting with one of the brands that I've been working with for YouTube and they gave me a bunch of skincare goodies to take with me to LA and I met the people in the company and they're all just so sweet and now I'm headed to Hongdae to meet Erna and Subini so I'll be taking a bus there I'm in the Gyeongbokgung area right now and this will probably be the last time I'll be here thankfully it's a super beautiful day I'm really gonna miss being at this palace area Hello! <laughs> We're here filming a TikTok yes. <laughs> Let's do it again, here, ready? Yeah. One, two, three I'm being completely useless. <laughs> I can't believe that this would be my last Korea vlog. It's kind of unexpected, but I think it's just time for a change of environment. So I'm trying to be excited for what's coming next. <laughs> 